Hello horror fans, and welcome back to Dead by Daylight. It's been over seven months since I played this game for my channel, and there's a couple of different reasons why. First of all, I was going through some different things in my life at the time. I was changing jobs and trying to get through this pandemic, and I will just admit, psychologically, I wasn't really in a mindset where I wanted to be playing a game where a lot of the people are often toxic to one another. So, I went ahead and played games that were a bit more comfortable, and stepped away from Dead by Daylight because of that. Additionally, my computer, as a lot of you might know, was getting worse and worse at the time, and really just wasn't able to handle recording this game and playing it. So, now that I got a new computer, that's also been taken care of. And then, after those things sort of resolved themselves, and I was able to settle down in a new job and got this new computer, I really still didn't find a motivation to play the game. The game was moving in a new direction that really just wasn't interesting to me. I had liked the game because of the horror monsters that were in it and how you got to play as these different monsters. But instead, the game was going in more of a, uh, shall I say, K-pop direction? I didn't see a point in this, and I really wasn't interested in joining in that type of gameplay. But yesterday that changed. Yesterday they released new skins for several killers following a TV show, well a YouTube TV show, that I've really been enjoying in Crypt TV. With that, we got a new skin for the Doctor as the look -see. Sort of a demonic spirit that makes people make tough choices in their life, and if they don't make the right choice, then they suffer some severe consequences. We got a new skin for the hag, where she becomes the birch, a tree forest spirit that punishes those who deserve it. And finally, we got a skin for the huntress, making her into the mordeo, a wendigo-like creature that feasts on human flesh. These three, to me, are real monsters. They're hearkening back to the reason that I got into the game in the first place, and I'm excited for this direction in Dead by Daylight. So, with that, I wanted to jump back into the game as well. Today, the new tome opened, and we're going to play through it some here. We're going to start with the killer challenge Unleash the Rage, and start with these three new killers. For this, we have to break 15 walls, pallets, or generators. So, it has been seven months. I know I'm going to be very rusty in playing. So why not start out with the killer that was one of my worst back in the day even. And we're going to start out by playing some Huntress. With that in mind, let's jump into a game. Alright, the coal tower. Now I know also while I was away from the game, it has gotten many updates. And with those updates, it is very different looking, the maps are very different, and so I know I'm going to have to get used to things all over again. There's a crow that landed over here. I am not finding anyone. Wow. All right then. Well, that explains why. did not throw that because uh, I evidently pressed the wrong button. But that's alright. We got her down still. We'll go ahead and put her up over here.
All right, we know the person got off of that generator. We know somebody got back onto this generator. Ah, All right then. Let's go ahead and take her, put her up on a hook. Gotta figure out how to throw a hatchet here soon. Okay, they took care of that. out how to throw a hatchet. That's a good thing. Got her down now. I know I can't mori her right now because I don't have that ability anymore in the game. I have to get her down a third time in order to mori her. So we'll work on that here in a minute. Wow, alright then. I know I'm not doing very well here, but I'm not really too worried about it. I'm just having fun. Do need to try to break some things, though. All right. Hi, Claudette. Okay. Oh! Ah! All right then. Well, we got her down. Ah! And we got to show off the Mori, and we made her drop that key. Which are all good things. Oh! All right. Yeah, you're not getting me that easy, Bill. It might have been a while, but it's not been that long.
There we go. I don't think I've hit a single person with a hatchet, but that's alright. We know somebody's over there, so we'll go right back over there. Oh, they're both over here, actually. Got that person off, which is fine. We're gonna put this person into the basement. They're gonna try to finish that generator, I'm sure. No, they're gonna heal, actually. Interesting. actually have a four kill here? That would be something. Let's go ahead and put this person up here. Now most bills will have uh, unbreakable, so I'm sort of surprised if this one doesn't. But it looks like he didn't. Alright then. Did he have decisive strike? No? Alright, well. That's a four kill then. Nice. Still messing up with the hatchets. Still not a huge uh, huntress player by any means, but hey, it's a four kill. I can't complain. I know this map has changed a lot. I don't know if it is still as bad for killer or not, but I guess we'll find out. I'm gonna head over in this direction. I am at least playing a killer that I feel a bit better about. All right, she used her fireworks. Ooh, nice spin there. All right. We'll go ahead and put her up onto this hill. head over to that generator over here that they keep blowing up. <laughs> All right. I actually need those mechs, so I'll take that.
And I'll chase you as well, I have no problem with that. <laughs> no problem whatsoever. I did bring in a Mori again. I only plan on using it once, same as I did last game. Just so I can show off the Mori. Wasn't able to teleport in time, it seems like there. That's alright. Do need to start putting down some more traps. Why'd you get right back on this? Well, I can use my my ability now. Interesting. Let's get you in a nice place. Mm, tasty liver for the birch. All right. As I said, that was more about showing off the cosmetic and stuff. It wasn't that I really felt like I needed it, but I just wanted to show that off a little bit. Now I'm just going to play a fairly standard game here, hopefully. Alright, they blew up this generator over here. We'll head over to it. I evidently saw someone. Alright, well she did not throw that down, so that's good I guess for her. Oh! Got another person over here. We'll go towards them. Yeah, you probably saw my ruin there, but that's all right. Ooh, that was a bad swing on my part. There we go. All right. You're dead? Well, you know, if you're dead, then I'm gonna go ahead and eat your liver. Wow, I'm bad. There we go. I mean, I'm not caring about the points too much, so... Might as well enjoy the Mori since I'm using it.
Okay, that one's pretty much off. These maps overall are quite nice. I'm pleased with them. Let's go in this direction. Whoop. They were over in that direction. Alright then. I guess in the wrong direction. Well, hi there. over here, that's fine. Don't see this person anywhere. I'm gonna go break this wall so that way I get more of my mission accomplished. There we go. And then I'll leave you alone. I'm not gonna be toxic or anything. Just breaking some walls. We'll let them rescue. Gonna give them a little bit of time. Maybe they'll heal, maybe they won't. Never know. <laughs> Put an air trap down there. Why not? Alright, I just saw that somebody was on this, and then they got off of it. There's the Meg. Oh, there's an air breakable wall. Nice. Okay. She hits me with that, that's fine. Uh, she didn't. So we'll put her over here on this one. And we'll wander off. Oh wow, that was a fast rescue. I have no problem letting her go heal. I mean, she does have a med kit, so I would assume she's going to heal. Check the generators here. Oh, they are working on this one. Huh. Alright then. Hi. Supper time. Just to make sure she's not in that one. If she finds the hatch, not a big deal. I'm alright with that.
All right. And there we go. Let's get you in a nice space so we can see the Mori. There we go. Tasty. Alright, we're back to the coal tower. This is a fairly small map, so my blast should reach pretty well here. <laughs> and it did. Ooh. All right, we'll let her run off because I do need to be kicking things here. For two reasons. For one, I want to get that generator uh, damaged so that it gets overcharged on it. And for two, I want to go ahead and have my ability uh, propped so that way... All right. Ooh. Nice dodge by him. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Ah. Ah. All right then. We do have the basement right here. We'll go ahead and put him down there. Okay, that was an interesting play there by the Claudette. They've gotten two generators done, but they've also got two people in the basement now, and they're the two people with the flashlights, so that wasn't the greatest idea on their part. Thank you. Yeah, you uh, got that window closed up on your own there. Okay then. Well, the other guy better go rescue or they're going to be in a real bad situation. I'm just going to put this one on there. I'm going to let him go rescue because I want the game to end this quickly. Okay, we'll put you in the basement. Me. 
We know the other two were over in this direction. They probably have left it by now. Oh, they're on this generator right here. felt the need to quit. How sad. Alright. Well, we'll put this person back into the basement. Then we'll leave. I doesn't look like I'm actually going to get to Mori this game. I'll let you rescue. <laughs> I'm gonna take her up here in order to use my Mori. The other person just actually left her in the basement. <laughs> All right then. I was gonna let you uh, save. That's why I went to Mori where I did. But since you didn't want to, We'll go ahead and give you a shock. <laughs> okay, so with that, I've gotten 12 of the 15 walls, pallets, or generators broken already. I'll just have to play one more game in order to complete this challenge. But I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I've showed off the three skins as I really wanted to. Had some fun morrying some people and getting kills. So I hope that you enjoyed this as well. If you did, please go ahead and click that like button. And if you've not already, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so that you're aware when I produce new videos in the future. With all that being said, I hope that it won't be another seven months before I play Dead by Daylight. I don't think it will be. I'm really excited for these three new killer skins, and I'm enjoying playing again. So with that in mind, I will probably be posting another video of Dead by Daylight fairly soon. I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Keep yourself safe in the fog. And I'll see you for the next episode in Dead by Daylight.